So, this one works, but just like one of those um, cotton reel cars. So what I'm going to do is take this wheel, CD wheel, that I've used for something else. Um, I'll just show that the central hole is covered over with a bit of uh, plastic. That bit of plastic comes from a pop bottle on both sides. It's just taped in place and then I've pushed a hole right through the middle which happens to be the right size for a paper clip. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did there. Um, make a hook for the rubber band to wind up on. But this time Instead of going around there, I'm going to stick it on here. I'll just straighten that up again so we can see what we're doing. Right, so what we want to be able to do is wind the wheel up so we want it to stay still. Ooh. It wants to be stuck to the paper clip. So if I bend it at a right angle and put tape over it, that should work. And then at the other end, we need the hook again. Let's do the hook first this time. So it's bent up that way first. Next one, 90 degree bend that way. Next, another 90 degree bend. And another 90 degree bend. So we've got a square. And then we bend that one back a bit. So we've got the hook. So I'm going to release this one. Uh, that's going to go through there. Which way do we want it? I don't suppose it makes any difference shiny side out or printed side out but we do want the bead on there first now here over at a right angle like that If we also do a right angle that way, that should help to hold it upright. Bit of sticky tape over there. So because I've split this into two separate videos, you'll have to watch the previous video to understand what's going on although I will just explain I saw a picture on Pinterest of a car that looked like that but in the description it said it spins round instead of rolling forwards which this one does it spins round in circles and I clearly misinterpreted it by making it like one of those cotton reel ones that has the leg sticking out. Whereas this time, I think what will happen, if we can get this back in there, this time that wheel is a little bit bigger than the cardboard wheel, so it should actually spin round. And because the rubber band will tend to turn the wheel one way and that wheel the opposite way, it should 
spin round. I think. Hmm, what have I done there? I have to wind the wheel up somehow. And then when that unwinds, yeah, we'll go and have a look. So, wind it up. That should do. So why didn't I work that out the first time? That's exactly what it was supposed to do. Clearly I could wind this up a bit more and it will go faster and longer. As long as the rubber bands don't break. These particular rubber bands I'm using um, well, they come from Poundland, but they don't seem to be very strong. I, mean, I don't expect the best from Poundland anyway, but these ones, I seem to have broken an awful lot of them doing this. Try, put, try to put a bit of tension on there, and they just snap. Right, let's see if that's enough. Yeah. So, cracked it. It was even simpler than I thought. Because I was thinking we had to have a wheel on the other end, a, a moving wheel, but we don't. Just the the wheel that we've got there is good enough, and the one on this side is just that little bit bigger than the existing wheel. So, as you can see, they can rotate in opposite directions, and that makes it spin round on the spot. Summary time, what have we got? We've got two wheels made from cardboard, thick cardboard. I just drew a circle and cut them out. I actually did it for one of my previous projects, so I haven't bothered to do it again. I've just reused them. Got three bamboo skewers or barbecue skewers for the bodywork, I should think we could call it. Um, at the far end there's a bit of barbecue skewer on the back of that for the rubber band to hook onto and that's taped in place to stop it spinning round. Rubber bands and then at this end we've got a bent paper clip that goes through the CD that we've got and taped in place. So when you wind up the rubber band or at least when you let the rubber band free, it spins the CD. And just to cover off the CD wheel again. So the CD is just that bit bigger than that wheel. So it's the CD that touches the ground, not the cardboard wheel. And the CD, the bearing surface is just a plastic bead. And the hole in the middle of the CD I've covered over with a bit of um, plastic cut from a pop bottle just flattened and uh, just a piece of tape straight across it with a hole in the middle the right size for the paper clip. Which 
I'm done.